many of those got thrown out from mom's attic? Let's take a look. We're going to start with the 10-day forecast because we're not sure exactly when the congressional hearings are going to resume, so I don't want to have to bail out and not show you the full extended outlook here. And you see that our temperatures across the board are within about 5 degrees of average on either side all the way through the rest of the month. That's how far the 10-day outlook takes us all the way into next weekend. Thanksgiving's looking good at this point. Thanksgiving Eve, busy travel day on Wednesday, will bring us some scattered showers. Of course, the best chance of rain overall heads our way on Saturday. So we've got a glimpse of the extended outlook. Now let's get into the details of what we've seen so far today, which is just some high clouds floating through, filtering the sun, but not blocking it entirely. We're going to see more of those high clouds gradually becoming a little bit thicker as we head into this afternoon and this evening, but still filtered sunshine at worst as we go through the rest of the day. And it's helped our temperatures warm up 55 degrees right now in the triangle. We're only going to warm up maybe another three or four degrees the rest of the day. 54 right now in Smithfield. Everything moving along just fine. Grab the sunglasses on the way out the door. The clouds aren't going to be that thick. Temperatures around the triangle, well, everybody in the low to mid 50s. 55 Raleigh in Chapel Hill, 53 degrees right now in Durham. Just a little bit cooler to the northeast. 52 degrees in Lewisburg, Franklin County. A couple degrees off the pace, but not bad. Mid to upper 50s around Cumberland County, even up to 60 already in Grays Creek. 57 degrees in Harnett County. Checking in that number in Dunn. 54 in Fayetteville with 55 on Fort Bragg. We're going to make it up to the upper 50s in the triangle. Maybe a little cooler to the north, a little warmer south. You got a good chance of cracking 60 degrees around Fayetteville and into the Sand Hills. And then we back off, but slowly. Last night our temperatures just dropped off right as soon as the sun went down. We're not going to have that effect tonight because the clouds will thicken overhead. Winds from the southwest are going to keep the warmer air in place. So we only fall down to the mid to upper 40s by early tomorrow morning. That isn't bad at all for a November morning. It's still jacket weather, but it's substantially above average. And we will warm up. Even though we're going to see more clouds and sunshine throughout the day, we'll be up to around 60 by noon in the triangle. And temperatures will climb into the low 60s for highs even with that cloud cover and a chance for a couple of showers. Nothing like that in the forecast today. The rain out to our west is going to try to make a run towards us. A brief light passing shower is going to move through tomorrow, mainly from the triangle. Northward, don't worry about it. If you have outdoor plans, just be ready to adjust for a couple minutes. The better chance of rain holds off until Saturday. Off and on, light showers possible most of the day Saturday. The more substantial rain still out to our west as the sun goes down Saturday evening. It comes in Saturday night, especially a few hours after sunset, continuing until after midnight. But then it moves out. It's going to be out of here entirely by the time the sun comes up on Sunday. That leaves us with lots of sunshine in the forecast for Sunday. Slightly cooler temperatures, but still not bad for late November. Mid-50s, we can handle that too. Upper 50s on Monday, still plenty of sun. A few fair weather clouds developing on Tuesday, and then we'll see that chance of showers on Wednesday for Thanksgiving Eve. Busy travel day, just light rain showers here. I don't think it'll have a huge impact on travel, but wet roads, of course, are always a headache. At least we dry out for the holiday. So if you're going anywhere on Thanksgiving itself, right now it looks good. It's still a week away, so there's time for things to go either way. But for now, at least it looks good. <laughs>